Hi, uh, this is looking at chapter 14, number 33. So here we know that the West Michigan White Caps are trying to maximize their profits. Two weeks ago, they found that they sold tickets for $5. They were able to sell 5,000 tickets. And the week after that, they sold their tickets for $8, but sold 3,000 tickets. How much should they sell their tickets for in order to maximize their profits? So what we're going to do is we're going to think about the revenue, which is just going to be the price times the quantity. So the price in this case is going to be $5, but we're going to be looking at increasing it or decreasing it, depending on whether x is positive or negative, by some amounts of money. So you could have used 8 there, as what, just as easily as you used 5. But we have to be a little bit careful here when we do then the quantity function. So the quantity that we're selling are tickets. So at $5, we sold 4,000 tickets. But for an increase of $3, going from 5 to 8, we have to decrease by 3,000. So that's why I'm or decreased to 3,000. So that's why I'm doing a minus sign there. So if I just think about this as a uh, linear situation, so I have like the point 5 comma 4,000 and then 8 comma 3,000. We get this and when we find the slope of this, this is negative, which I've already indicated here, 1,000 over 3. So that's the amount of tickets that we would expect to decrease by for every dollar we're increasing above $5. So what I'm going to do on my calculator then is type this in. So I'm going to have uh, 5 plus x times 4,000 minus 1,000 over 3 times x. And what I have then is I'm just going to look at the graph of this and find the maximum. So these values for x, well, the least x could be is negative 5, in which case you're giving the tickets away for free. And the most X could be, well, I don't know, I'm just going to pick 10 because that seems like a tripling of ticket price is probably as big as that can get. Now, remember the Y here is a revenue. So 5 times 4 or 4,000 is 20,000. 8 times 3 is 24,000. So, well, the minimum money we can make is $0, but I don't know what the maximum is going to be. Maybe I'll pick like 35,000 or something. Just taking a guess at it. I don't really know. And we'll go up by 5,000. So let's hit graph and take a look at what's going on here. So here's my function. All I want to do is find that maximum. So I'll press second and trace. Use that maximum command. So here I am left, I need a left bound, a right bound, and a guess. So I am left of the highest point as right now. So I can press enter. Just use my arrows now to move from my right bound somewhere to the right of it. That looks good. And guess if you're as long as you're anywhere in between your two, you're good. So if I do that, I get x is about 3.5. So then my price then is about 5 plus 3.5 or $8.50. And that I think matches the key in the text. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.